on our way into Newcastle. Uh, Denise has got to take a, a, a talk back to a sports shop in Newcastle, so I thought we'd go together and we'll have a nice coffee there. That sign's really bright. It's a, it's a big LED sign. I suppose it doesn't put drivers off, actually. I think there's been a few complaints. Drivers say it's too... too great. Yeah. Read that, you don't know. Mundo. Go, go around to the right. Old Warsaw Street bus station. This will be a really busy bus station, this. Yeah, it's the old bus station. You can still see where it says Northern. Uh, I remember actually when, when there was buses here. There used to be the offices under there. You used to go up the stairs and in the offices. And all these shops. I remember when these were still open. There's Smokey Joe's second hand shop across there. Just up there is what used to be the audience cinema. You can just see the gantry popping out, the red part. And this is where we're going. Start from. We will come here and we're in the Central Arcade. The world, world famous building. This is Windows, made by guitars, audio equipment, all that. That's another famous shop. So uh, Mark Knopfler from Dire Straits got his first guitar. Beautiful building. <coughs> Grandra Street. And there's the monument. You can go right to the top. Gray's Monument. <laughs> Sorry, I bang you in the head there. <laughs> And that's looking all the way down towards Newcastle Central Station, all the way down there. That's Eldon Square at the end. Here we are in the Green, uh, green Market. In the Green Market? No, Granger Market. Green Market doesn't exist anymore. for alleyways and it's all butchers and all sorts of things, clothes, it was mainly sort of fruit and veg and butchers and things when we were little. And that's the original, the very first Marks and Spencers and it's still here. So everybody who goes to Marks and Spencers, that's the very first one. Hello, my darling. <laughs> Here we are, shitting at the table. <laughs> now we're in for a coffee. Oh, flowers, loads of flowers there. Some really nice ones. Shoe repairs, French bakery. Food and veg, etc. 
than beautiful people. <laughs> Coffee, nice creamy coffee. Cream buns. Cream buns. Mm. And all because somebody, one of the staff, took our coffees to the wrong table and then people weren't good enough to say they weren't their coffee. So we've been waiting 20 minutes. So we've been given three cream buns. Really nice. And we're leaving. <laughs> Back's aching. I don't know why. I just started aching when I was walking around. There's a time bridge down there. You can see it. One of the apartment blocks. What used to be the telecom building, Swan House. I don't know what I've done, I don't know if I've tweaked it when I've been walking about or what, but my back's sore. It's getting sore anyway. But, uh, yeah, I went to the sports shop. I got myself a nice uh, jacket. It was down from 20 quid to, to 9 quid. That's pound, by the way. <laughs> uh, it's really nice, but nice, it's a lightweight summer coat. And we've been for coffees, well there was a bit of a story behind that and you've seen, hopefully you could hear us in the last clip, but the, the I don't know what, call the people that were on the next table. enough about it you know they apologize and so for these cream scones which are really nice they're probably a few quid each themselves and things but yeah the, the people on the next table oh, they didn't say e, no these aren't our coffees no they just accepted them you know because obviously you go to go to coffee shops these days and they just walk up with free coffees to give you you know so God, some people are just you know there's <laughs> no What's the word? Integrity or you know, honesty, or whatever. Uh, but they they looked fine, upstanding citizens anyway on the next table. So. Good job it wasn't a full English. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would have been hell on if it was a full English breakfast that hadn't turned up. Yeah. So where we're we going now? Are we going along to Dobies or? Yeah. Do to, yeah. Gonna go along to uh, Garden Centre. A different one to what we were the other day. Uh, this this one's next to Newcastle Airport. And this is the one for the posh people. We don't normally go to this one. Why are we going? Just to lower the tone of the place, <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just go in and see see how long it takes them to complain about the riff raff. <laughs> Here we are, Dobies. The property value is going down the closer we get. <laughs> oh, this is some uh, Wendy house for the garden. <laughs> well, what's the inside? What's your head? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> can, can I get in? Oh, I. Oh yeah. Wow. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Trying to think how much 1364. Oh, nice one. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, watch your head. Oh. Can he say water and can? Nice. 
Oh yeah. That's cool. Hey. It's really nice that I like that. It's all lit up as well. Alright, well Denise is looking for a dangly one. Where can we find a dangly one around here? Rather than an upright. <laughs> hmm. Oh, fire shrimp. Yeah, cardinal fish. Hmm. Is it a Hmm. Weird looking thing. Oh, yes, the colour of that. Give this one with its mask on. You cost a United fish? <laughs> Doing. Can I put a lips on it like? <laughs> What's that one called? I've any more. It's like an old side. The it was the day, didn't it? Oh, look at that weird thing. It's Dory, by the way, before anybody says anything, it's Dory for me. Oh, there's another one at the back there. There's a few of them. There's the one sitting in the middle down there, if you can see it. And here we are at Cowell's, another garden centre. Don't be that. Yeah, it wants to make 329 quid. It's absolutely solid. We had a drunk drill chair and it flipping collapsed on me and flipping nearly hurt me back on it. Because it was just, just a cheap one from B&M. So Steve, when you're at B&M, don't buy the wooden garden furniture because it falls to bits. Because it's only held together with dowels and it just, it just oh, snap. No, you're not like an old woman now, are you? <laughs> yes, yeah, a little cup of cocoa. <laughs> So we're at the outside here, we found something that Georgia might appreciate. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> How's that for garden furniture? Why? Oh, that's just so freaky. Do you like it? No. <laughs> I'm just looking out when it's getting to dusk and that, that's like <laughs> coming out of the grass in the middle of the garden. <laughs> Come and I'll just have a nice cute little cat statue. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Sitting cat eggs, thanks. Shelba, Shelba. <laughs> yeah, they make a lovely. It's a sweet. Lovely couple. Come, yeah, you. come outside. It's a bit breezy. And uh, oh, gloomy today, it's been trying to spit down with rain, but at the moment it's okay. Uh, yeah, we're, so we've got our new plants. Well, it's a start anyway. Uh, actually look a lot brighter than they do on the camera. 
on the camera they look quite pale but they look quite a vibrant purple colour and I've got these fancy these fancy pots that hang off hang off the decking really nice you can get some that um, slide over the rail don't they? yeah these sort of slide over the rail there that's got to fill out a little bit it'll once once it fills out a touch there they look really pale on the camera uh -huh. yeah this one we've got the green pot well, we've got the pink the, like a lilac pot on that one but the nice but we've got, there's other ones which would sort of go around the pool like that and they've got like a cord that fastens at the back that's what our, our neighbours got uh, yeah so it's a start get a bit of colour into the garden while we're waiting for the other things coming through Are you happy with them? Jeez, yeah, I think they're really nice good still like uh, the trellis there and uh, Denise has got ideas what are you thinking about on that fence? yeah, yeah. Denise has got ideas about putting a trellis on there to hang stuff off but I'm actually preferring the idea of like a rustic feel like recycling and using pallets because you can attach pallets to fences if the fence is strong enough and that gives you loads of like little hanging places and but the idea I've got which Denise is like thinking correct us if I'm wrong but you're thinking it's sort of like looks nice hanging places yeah Whereas I'm thinking like the recycling and places for the insects as well in the pallets as well. Yeah, like the like bees and things like that. The, the plants, yeah. I'm talking about like spiders and things like that for the oh, for well, the well, trellis. I, like spiders. I know, but I uh, yeah, you know, I, I like things. You know, that's why I've got the butterfly lodge and all that sort of thing on the on the fence. Um, so we've got different ideas of what we want <laughs> with regards to that. Pallets we can get free of charge. From, from Denise's work. There's trellises you've got to pay for. Trellises look also nice and pretty, whereas pallets are look a bit, a bit more rustic. And I, had, I would paint the pallets, uh, paint, paint them nice colours, or pretty colours, or whatever, you know. So, but it's just, I'm just thinking of recycling and somewhere for insects to live and things like that, whereas the, the girls aren't that bothered about that sort of thing. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Eating the grass. E eating the grass. <laughs> you can chop that bit, that bit down for me instead of using the air. Yeah, you got to keep it trimmed. <laughs> Sky across there, then look at it on the camera. That's <laughs> what he does, mind. He does this sort of chirp noise all the time. <laughs> so a pretty flowers there, uh, looking nice. Oh, I've just got off the phone there. I eventually, got myself pretty much pushed myself because I, I'm, I know I'm going to be asked about it because I've got a meeting tomorrow at work. Yet another meeting. And I know I'm going to be asked if I've done this, so I've had I put it off and put it off because I really couldn't bring myself to do it. But I've had to ring the councillors um, to sort of pretty much self refer to them. The doctor gave me the details and just rang up and ran through everything that's that's happened with them and. Uh, Got a telephone appointment on Wednesday, so deep breath. Um, well, it'll keep work happy, you know. Yeah. But I know I needed to do it, and I can't just go through everything hoping it'll get okay. I know I, I need, I know I need help sorting all this jumble in my head out. So I've took that step now. Um, we'll see what happens on Wednesday. 
Wednesday morning I'll probably be a bag of nerves. We'll see. <laughs> I'll be I'll be emailed all the the forms beforehand, which like anybody that's been through counselling, you've got to fill in a GAD seven and a PHQ nine form and things, which um, like rate one to ten, how you're feeling in different categories and things like that. So I'll be emailed them to fill in on the morning to send them, so it, I don't have to do them over the phone because it takes takes a while, you know. So that would take up all the telephone session. Which it used to do when I when I've dealt with these in the past, uh, so they ended up sending me these on email to do them beforehand. So I didn't have to do it on the phone, so we can sit talking rather than filling in forms over the phone. But, uh, sorry, I'm I'm talking and I'm just jabbering on. But yeah, that that's a range that's for me mentally that that was a big step. Um, making this phone call. The simplest phone calls are, but it's still a big step. But it's done. It's all arranged. It'll keep work happy, and it's me taking a step, step forward, uh, to helping myself. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Hey. The sun's come out, the sun come out tomorrow. <laughs> ah. <sighs> nice night. Just uh, been having a right carry on with the computer and uploading videos. Because for some reason, even though it worked last night, my camera yet again did not want to recognise the AVCHD files from this Lumix camera. So I've had to go through converting them all, which took a while. There's a bee in there. Yeah, they've already been attracted to it. Um, but yeah, it's took ages converting them, but I've got them eventually. So I've changed the file format back to JPEG. Uh, so I can't be done like waiting 45 minutes just for the files to convert to usable format. Then having to convert them again, to, uh, or put them through iMovie and Handbrake and everything, it's like, do extra work, you know. But while I was doing that, I cleaned the fish tank out, gave it a 50% water change because the levels were a bit high. But they are getting better, they're getting less and less cloudy each day. Um, but instead of dried food, we will give them bloodworms this time, frozen bloodworms. Uh, defrosted them all in some water then poured them in and they went nuts for them the fish went nuts even Lenny the loach when normally he doesn't do anything during daytime he just hides because the loaches are nocturnal he was all over the tank he's, he's even climbing like swimming up and trying to like climb into the into the plants we've got in there trying to get them uh, it was being quite funny watching them, but uh, definitely like the bloodworms. Given that, uh, according to the fish shop, they're uh, a lot better for them than dried food. They're better for the digestion and all that sort of thing. So, uh, we had a lovely tea. Um, the big pack of meat that Denise bought from Morrison's. So, seen a couple of days ago in the video. We had these like kebab skewer things and burgers and sausage, coleslaw and chips. It was really nice. The, I was too busy getting tucked into my food and I forgot to video it. <laughs> I was straight in there. I was starving. I've not had any lunch, so I was. I just dove straight in. Forgot to record it. So, but it was nice. So thank you very much, Denise. Um, yeah. So. got my meeting tomorrow so I've got to be up early I've got to got to be at work at nine o'clock to meet my union rep uh, with, and go into the meeting at ten o'clock so a bit nervous about that even I shouldn't be uh, just 
don't like these meetings. Don't like them at all at the moment. Uh, not that I've ever liked them, but you know. Uh, we'll see what happens. And then Denise is out tomorrow night. She's in Newcastle. Probably going to get drunk. She'll come pouring herself through the door at like three o'clock in the morning, something like that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it'll be be a late night tomorrow night. Maybe it's not so late tonight. Maybe it's eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, or something. But I know the kibibbles. Uh, it'll be too late by the time you see this video because this will be tomorrow. But like tonight, the kibibbles are doing a hangout, uh, which works out. Sort of, it's 6 p.m. Central, something, whatever time in America. Um, CST, whatever that is. Uh, but that works out about 11 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time in the UK. So we'll see. See if I can stay up for it. Uh, if not, I'll have to just catch the next one. But I hope it goes well for you, anyway. Uh, I think that's, that's it. I think I'm going to call it a night now. The sun's just disappearing there behind the clouds. I don't know if you can tell. No, you can't. Definitely more detail in ABCHD than there is the JPEG. But it's just converting the files. I mean, toying with the idea of going back to the GoPro. So, <laughs> a lot easier to work with. Especially seeing I've just figured out how to use the GoPro Studio and it turns out really good um, but yeah I'm going to get myself away and I hope everybody's had a good day and has a good night or what, whatever it is where you are and I shall catch you all very soon bye for now everybody